happy Saturday. I, I just, there's probably no one who's going to be here tonight because it's Saturday, but you know what? You're here and that's all that matters. Um, yeah, there's 61 people here right off the bat. I'm not mad about it. How are you guys doing? Happy. Are you, are you having a good weekend? Do I know how to talk? Is this going to go? Okay. Let me take a drink. How about that? Cheers. Cheers. I am drinking a, ooh, wow. Meow. That's strong. This is a <sighs> Hendrix Gin, Hendrix Gin with Fever Tree Sparkling Pink Grapefruit. It's good. It's refreshing. It's a little, it's a little strong, but that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. Okay. So this is very impromptu for me. You know, I, I actually just got back into the city last night. I feel like my, I'm kind of crooked here or something. I don't know. Um, I just got into the city last night because I was doing a gig down in Key Largo, Florida. And I was going to film a video tonight, which I still have to do another day. But I was like, you know what? I've, okay, here's the deal. So I posted, uh, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please please follow me on Instagram. Um, I posted a picture from the show I did the other night or that I took of myself before the show. And I really got so much positive feedback about the makeup and the skin and the hair and yada shmada bada wada bada. So I thought I would just do that tonight. I thought I would just recreate the whole look. I'm not wearing the dress. The dress is in the dirty clothes. So <laughs> I'm wearing my better off red t-shirt instead. Same thing. Same, exactly the same thing. <laughs> no, I had on a very like halter top, flowy, beachy black dress for the show, but we can't be bothered with that tonight. Um, let's see who's here. RJ Devil in the, is in the details is here. Yay for the boozy Hendrix and grapefruit. Get ready with me. Yes. Cece is here. <laughs> Oh, yes, Kate Cousins, the jet setter. Right, 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 right. <clears throat> Chelsea Ann, yes, I did get a haircut. <clears throat> wow, that went down the wrong way. <clears throat> yes, I did. Um, I got it actually the day before I left for Key Largo because I was like, you know what? Okay. I know in one of my videos I talked about, like, I had just gotten a haircut. You're like, didn't you just? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. I went and got this super cute Mixie, which is a pixie mullet. This was a couple weeks ago. And my hairstylist is incredible. The style was amazing. I just wasn't loving it on me. And the reason is, is because I'm lazy. I don't, I can't do a high maintenance situation, um, especially with my hair. And it was just taking a lot of work and product and zhuzhing. And I was like, I can't, I can't be a part of this. So I, I went and he, we went a different way with it, which is pretty much the way <laughs> I've had every different haircut imaginable at this point. But I like it. Thank you. I, I feel good. I feel I feel fresh. Um, hi, Kara C. Awesome. Kara is here. Do you guys follow Kara C? She has an awesome YouTube channel and she's on the gram. I mean, <laughs> who isn't on the gram? If you're anybody, you are. Right? Okay, so um, here's some, some things I'm going to be using in the routine tonight. The routine? <laughs> what am I saying? Um, the, I feel like I have to like do like an across the floor dance routine now or something. I'm not going to do that. So cool your jets. <sighs> Lift Bake Love is here. Yes. Okay, let me scroll up here and see what I missed. Patricia Goodwin is here. Marion. Um, Chase is here. Chase said, I'm dog sitting and there's no, there, there's no humans around and it's silent and fucking lovely. Okay, that sounds amazing. Amazing. What more could you ask for? Dogs and no people. Um, Kelsey is, is new here and saying hi from Montreal. Hello. Bon, bonjour. Um, let's 
Sorry, I'm just scrolling through the comments. Okay. Okay, so I was going to tell you some of the things I'm going to be using tonight featuring one of the stars of the show, the Charlotte Tilbury Beautiful Skin Foundation. Um, I love this so much. So this is literally what I brought with me. I always feel like that's such a testament to your favorite products, right? Like when you travel, the products you pick and you like pare it down because I really, I bring one, one of each thing. I, I was like, I'm going to pack light for this shit. And I sure did. So um, you can, you can definitely be sure that I love every single thing uh, here. So this is the foundation and then, but, but even more so, even more so the star of the show. It's really all about the Fenty body sauce. This is my third bottle of this. This was my savior because I have never worn this like all over my body until this gig in Florida. So I put this everywhere. I put it like my arms, my legs, my neck, um, incorporating it into my makeup, which I will do tonight. I do have this on already, like on my decollete. So, and I have to tell you this wore really, really well. It is not completely transfer proof. I always have people ask me that, it's not. It will get on the inside of your clothing. I use Woolite to really get it out. I mean, no one can really see that, but I mean, honestly, it's just worth it. <laughs> it's just worth it because it blurs your skin and it just gives you this beautiful um, evenness to your skin. So that is saving the day or that saved the day and whatever, I'll show you whatever. You'll see what I use if you keep watching. Okay, also, can I just tell you, I lit a brand new candle, Bath and Body Works candle. It's a new scent for me. It is called Hibiscus Waterfalls. Run, do not walk on Hibiscus Waterfalls, okay? This is a joy and a pledge up in here. I feel intoxicated. With, with the scent in here. So I'm just telling you right now, write it down. Oh my goodness, someone said a super chat. Hi, Kate, thanks for the recommendation on Euphoria. Oh, wow, I was gonna talk about this, perfect. I watched the whole damn thing. My favorite character, Fezco's grandma, hands down. Wait. Who's Fezco's grandma? I need you to know I am so in euphoria. I have seen almost every episode at least twice because I'm re-watching it the first season with Randy and I'm watch I'm gonna finish the second season tonight and I go back and re-watch scenes. So I am really first of all, thank you for the super chat. That's amazing. Wait, I'm sorry, no, I'm sorry, who is that? Oh, wow. I think I've missed a major plot point. Is she the really monotone, like, she's like the drug lord? Is that her? from when Fezco was little? Okay, I'm gonna have to see now I have to go back and watch rewatch that episode. I don't. Oh, only in flashbacks. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. Oh, that's why I don't remember her because she's in a coma. Is that a joke? <laughs> oh, I get it. You're saying you hate everyone in the show. Understood. I love that like subtle dryness. That was awesome. Really had me going there. Didn't know what the hell you were talking about. So you like the person who isn't featured and has no lines. Understood. <laughs> Understood. I'm going to talk about uh, Euphoria when once we get going here. Um, Melanie Carosi is here. What will you do when they change the body sauce? Because you know when you fucking love something, they change. I haven't thought about that, but thank you. <sighs> I'm still waiting to be on the fucking Fenty PR list. I'm still over here like... It's about time. <laughs> it's about time. It's fine. I don't really need more stuff. Um...
Okay, so I'm not, I, I will do my best not to, I'm not, I'm not going to spoil Euphoria. I can promise you that, okay? Also, I have to blow my nose. Hold on, please. Look at my wall. Isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> okay. It's really... <sighs> wow. Maybe allergies? I don't know. Okay. Sorry. Oh. <sighs> Just a red nose. Um, should have moved that water bottle back there. Hate it. Okay. So... I'm not going to make anyone watch Euphoria, but what I am going to say, can you imagine? But what I am going to say is it's phenomenal. And I understand people have different reasons. I know it's triggering for some people. It's, it's a lot, but if you can do it, it's worth it. It is, it's a piece of art and Zendaya, 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 um, I, I'm speechless by her, by her, from her. She is giving the performance of a lifetime. Absolutely incredible. Last night I was like, I was so filled with rage at her performance. I was like, what is this? It's ah, so good. It's so good. She's brilliant. She's brilliant. You got to watch it. You got to watch it. Okay, we're going to get back to it later. Let's get going. Um, okay, things I never say anymore. If you're here, I would so appreciate it if you would hit that thumbs up button. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Do it. Also, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. Um, also, if there's, if, if you want to donate to my channel help support my channel that is never an expectation but if you want to do that you can send super chats they're super fun and bright and just like a a good old time or you can also uh use my venmo paypal um or you can literally do none of those things none of them and that's okay too but i always like to just occasionally tell you what's up okay I will, yes, thank you. These earrings are what I wore for the show. I'm not going to wear the dress, but I was like, I'm going to wear the earrings. Um, sorry, geez. Okay, so starting with, I, I have skincare on, and honestly, that's what I used for my primer when I was doing this look. And another interesting piece of info regarding the, this look. Um, so we were performing, I'll just talk while I, I was going to say talk while I walk, but talk while I put on foundation. Um, and I, I'm also going to mix the Fenty body sauce into the Charlotte Tilbury foundation. Just a little bit. I like to do like that much and just mix it in and see how that looks. And then we can add more, just add a little bit more, a little bit more. Oh, CC. Okay. So I, I do this show with my friend, Michael McCory Rose, who is phenomenal. He's an actor, singer, performer as well. He has the voice of an angel. And he decided he was going to produce his own uh, country folk show. And before the pandemic happened, we had the pleasure of doing that in New York City. We did it one night. Um, and then this lovely woman who is, I think, the event coordinator for a resort down in Florida saw the show that night. And she was like, we have to have you down. We have to have the whole band down, you know. And so that's exactly what happened, like, over two years later. Um, and it was so much fun. It was a unicorn gig, you know, it was just a dream. It's exactly what you'd want. <laughs> and we were there for a little over 48 hours. So it was super quick. It was this bougie ass resort called, um, uh, Ocean Reef Club. And most people are members and live there. 
So, yeah. Um, <laughs> it was a very bougie situation. And yeah, they have like, you know, art. I think Emily Lou Harris had been there recently, like amazing people. And Il Debo was there before us, if you know who that is, um, or what that group is. So yeah, we just went down to do a show and the, the resort is like sprawling. It's very, very, um, it's not easy to walk is what I'm saying. So we basically had to be like driven by van everywhere. So that's all to say that, you know, we did the sound check the day of, and then we thought we'd have more time. It went over and then we had like no, not no time, but like barely any time to get ready. I'm talking about 30 minutes. Okay. I had 30 minutes. I had showered. That's all I done. I had no makeup on. <laughs> Picture it, 30 minutes, gotta do a show, have to sauce my body, gotta put full makeup on, gotta do my hair, gotta get this dress on, gotta like get my bag together. Like it was, I was a little panicked, but don't you worry, I got myself a Manhattan right beforehand because that's important, that's a priority. So I had my Manhattan and I was like, let's go. <laughs> my friend Michael is an angel came over to my hotel room, sauced my back, um, and did a great job. When I was here, of course, Randy did that, but Randy wasn't there, so. Um, and yeah, it was, it was a little stressful, but that's all to say this whole routine, all of this took place, now I'm not gonna do this in 30 minutes because I'm yammering, but this took place in 30 minutes on top of my entire body being body sauced and everything else. So just, you know, just keep that in mind. I made it happen, guys. I made it happen. But the thing is, like, yes, it's hot and humid in Florida, but I mean, my hotel room was a godsend. I had it was like an ice box. It was glorious. So don't you worry. I was not sweaty at all. Okay. Chelsea Ann, gotta sauce my body, the theme of any night out in Florida. <laughs> I'm scrolling up here. What did I miss? Wait, wait. I don't have a moderator tonight, so I'm sorry if stuff gets held. I'll try to... Hi, Catherine. Um... I'll try to accept comments if I can, if I see them. Um, you know, people often ask how to reply to people in the chat and how to at people. Sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and I don't fully understand. So if someone can advise on that, I'd really appreciate it. Helene said, I hope you vlogged this. I didn't vlog it and I thought about it. I thought about it and it would have been great, but I don't know. It was like my friend Michael's gig and I didn't, it was just, it just felt like too much to vlog it. But anyway, um, simply swatch. First, that is stressful. Second drink, second drink is definitely a priority in that situation. Third, Michael sounds like a dream of a friend. Yes, he's wonderful. Wonderful. Yeah, I'll tell you what, guys. I was just like over here. I'd take a swig of the drink and be like, we didn't waste any time. Not like I'm doing now. And that Manhattan was strong. Let me tell you, it was well made. Now, you'll see I have a little little blem. I'm assuming that's from all the mask wearing like on the plane and travel and stuff. And look at how like even right now like what a beautiful match that is. My face is a little bit lighter than the rest of me but of course I'm gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna bronze it up don't you worry. Okay. 
Simply Swatch is talking about how you uh, communicate with people in the chat. They said you have to use the at symbol and make sure you write their name exactly as it appears on YouTube. For the person you're tagging, it will show in a different color, but it will look the same for others. Okay, that's good to know. Okay. So I think we're good with the foundation right now. This, this is just like, also, I was about to bring this because these are my two faves right now, the Chantecai, uh Future Skin. But this, like, I was like, I can't travel with this jar. I mean, I could, but I was like, well, no, this is better. So I really feel like they have, this is a great um, packaging situation in my opinion. Meriton is saying, how old are you? I'm 38. I'm 38 years old. Okay. Now I'm going to, actually, I'm going to put a little bit more of that combo on my hand because I like to take the extra. So just like a couple dots of the sauce and Usually I have some left, but I don't right now. Mixed it up and then I'm gonna take my Kosas concealer and then I just put, like literally go like that. And then I mix it all together so that the concealer matches everything really well. And then I just go in with that. Okay, so people are asking where I live in New York City. I live in Harlem. I live in Lower Harlem. So kind of like the top of Central Park-ish. I know Ariane Fowler is like, what? A Saturday Live? Yeah, that's right. We're getting wild over here. Melanie's, Melanie's asking about, okay, so if you see people with their names in green and um, the little head wrap emoji woman, those are members of my, I was going to say my club, that sounds so douchey, members of my membership. <laughs> um, I think I've lost quite a few people in that regard, which I don't, I don't blame anyone just because I don't do as many lives as I did. I used to do two lives a week. Do y'all remember that? So I've cut back on the lives and I, and I, and I get that. Um, but that's also another way. I always forget to mention that, but that is another way to support my channel. If you wanted to be a member, that's what that little emoji is about. Thank you, Sasha. Okay. So I think we're good with the concealer. I really wish this wasn't here, but what are you gonna do? Wow, those masks really. Yeah, okay. All right. Okay, I think we're good with the foundation and the concealer. Meriton, I graduated from Columbia. Your address is close to Columbia. Yes, yes, Columbia is very close. Very, very close by. It's it's further west. Um, Jess, Kate, do you bring certain makeup that you have when you travel or overdo it and bring everything? No, as I, I mean, I think you probably missed this part, but like every single thing I'm, I'm, I should have just called this what I packed on my trip. That could have been another name because this is all I brought. I don't do the excessive thing anymore. I've done too much travel <laughs> and I hate packing, hate it. Um, I just try to pare it down as much as I can. Um, okay. Beverly Griffin, I was a dancer and lived in Spanish Harlem years ago. Oh, wow. That's amazing. J. 
Chase, Kate, you need the new Westman Atelier blush and Mimi if you haven't if you haven't tried it. Oh, I'll, I'll um I only have one. No, I have two. I'm sorry. And I am using one of them tonight and I love it. Okay, so now See, I was not this thoughtful. It was just like right out the gate. It was just like whatever I could grab and put on my face. That makes it sound messy. It, it wasn't that messy, but Okay, now I'm gonna do that cream blush. This is the Westman Atelier Baby Cheeks Blush Stick in the shade Petal. And don't you worry, we're gonna double blush it. Isn't that gorgeous? I fear that I may have to get more of these and you know, really truly try not to buy a lot of makeup and I'm doing a pretty good job but oh man these might these might have me here yes Janet petal is stunning so so pretty I can't remember if this is the one that Lisa J couldn't get enough of if not it's similar to that anything that one puts on her cheeks I'm like what'd you say now what was that <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to powder my face. See, what's interesting is in Florida, because the AC was so amazing, I wasn't warm at all. And I'm standing here in New York City. I have my window open that's literally like two feet away from me and I'm warm, <laughs> but I'm also under intense lighting. Okay. So this powder, I kind of forgot about, and I don't know why I grabbed it. I don't know why. I mean, I loved it. I loved using it. It was kind of random, but sure did do me right. So this is the Kogendo Brightening Moisture Powder, and it really is a gorgeous, gorgeous powder. So I'm going to pat that on, and I brought with me as well my BK Beauty Travel Collection. This is so great to travel with. I mean, I have some other brushes in here besides just the travel collection, but I love this so much. So I'm gonna pull out my BK Beauty Kabuki brush. This is the 105 and just lightly go in and powder. Okay, so, oh, also Merton is asking, can I list the products I'm using? Well, you're in luck. I listed them before I even started the live. So everything I'm using is linked down below in the description box. A, a seven millionth way to support my channel <laughs> is cl just clicking on the links and shopping through my links, which costs you nothing, takes zero time, actually makes your shopping easier and gets me a small commission. Look at how we're all winning. Oh my God, it's amazing. Um, but you really can um, refer to my description box and everything should be down there. <laughs> um, let me pull this down a little bit, yeah. Devils in the details, they're with you, Kate. When I travel, I literally take a backpack or an overnight bag a carry-on with the bare minimum and buy what's missing on site. Absolutely. Absolutely. I forgot my toothpaste. They had some. They just brought it to me because it was... I mean, I think most hotels would probably do that, but it was fancy. Um, Janet, Kate, may I ask about your beautiful ring with the multicolored stones? Oh, thank you. I think you're talking about this... You know, I should I should really just put this in the description box of all my videos because I get so many questions about this set. Um, this is a set that was, <clears throat> this was given to me by my grandfather who passed away. And these are my birthstones. And this was given to me by my mother. And it's a beautiful vintage 
Um, I think it's a ring from Thailand. I actually had it appraised a long time ago. I can't really remember. I think it's called a princess ring. It's like a certain style of ring, but these are rubies and emeralds and there is a sapphire in the middle. And I just wear them as a set. So that is the deal. Sasha said, you all inspire me. I am a terrible, I am terrible, uh, I am a terrible just in case packer. Quicker to pack everything and then have to agonize on whittling it down. I used to do that. I just, here's the thing. I've packed for many a thing, not just vacations. I've packed to like move my life somewhere for like 11 months and like live on a cruise ship and like perform on a cruise ship. Once you start doing that kind of stuff and you're a performer, you just, you're like, I can't do this anymore. Like I can't, I can't just pack everything and have everything. It's a nightmare. It's an actual nightmare. I can't tell you how many things at the end of a, of a contract that I would just end up throwing away because I literally didn't have room in my, my bags to take it back. So that's something that a lot of like normal people don't deal with. But because I've dealt with that, I'm like, fuck it. I'm not, we're not doing this overpacking thing anymore. Because the fact of the matter is you can exist on so little. You just need one of all the, the all the basics, really. Okay, I think I'm powdered enough. Yeah. This powder really is so gorge, so gorge. I think I chose it too because it was very like sleek and small, easy to travel with. Should we take a drink together? Cheers. Mm. Oh wow, I really, really went in on that drink. Um. Nassim, Kate, I'm going to Goodwill now to buy t-shirts to cut off the collars and make it off shoulder. Oh, that's awesome. Listen, I do that with all of my t-shirts. I know it's super weird. I'm not a big, per I'm not a person who wears t-shirts like out and about, but I love banging around in them in my apartment. And I just, who doesn't love this neckline? Like, I personally don't feel flattered by like a crew neck, like a tight, like man's, I hate to say man's, but I mean, I, I feel like it is associated with usually like a male style of t-shirt. Now it, un, it can be unisex as well. I feel like I can't say any of these words anymore. But anyway, <laughs> the point is, whatever that's considered, I don't like it on me. Um, so I always cut the necks out, always. <clears throat> Sorry if I fucked all that up. Um, I'm going to put some lip stuff on because my lips are parched. Melanie said, do you know of a dupe for the Becca Hydra Mist setting powder? I don't. I don't. I've never had another setting powder that was cooling at first and I loved it, but it didn't last. I wish they could figure it out, but. Also, I believe Melanie Carosi asked me, am I right? Did she ask me if I missed working on cruise ships? Melanie Carosi. Have you seen my entire video, video where I roast working on cruise ships? I think you have your answer. I think the answer is you got to go watch that after this. <laughs> because no, absolutely fucking not. That's a no for me, dog. <clears throat> okay, now I'm gonna bronze a little bit and then I'm probably gonna go back and bronze a little bit more later, which is what I did when I was in Florida. Taking my favorite bronzer still, this is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Matte Bronzer in the shade Medium. Jess, what does Randy do when you're live streaming? Well, Randy's usually, now he works. So that's where he is. Okay, now I'm going to take, I thought I had a bronzer brush. Oh, here it is. So this is the Travel Bronzer Brush from BK Beauty, which really did me well. 
Oh, Kara C has to get her kids in bed. Bye, Kara. Thank you for coming. Love you. Devils in the Details says the dupe for the Becca powder would be Elizabeth Arden blurring setting powder. It's not cooling, but it has the same texture and effect. That's good to know. Okay, taking the bronzer. Okay, so euphoria. <clears throat> so as I said, I'm going to watch the, I was told by a good friend of mine that it is advisable to watch the last two episodes of the second season of euphoria in the same night, watch them back to back. So that's what I'm going to do. I, you know, it's really hard for me to say what character is my favorite. I do love Fez. I think Fez is like so many people's favorites just because he's so sweet and so genuine. Did you know that he's not an actor or he, well, I'm, of course he's an actor now, but previously, from what I understand, he wasn't an actor and he, they just like found him. It's like, wow. <laughs> so if you go and watch interviews with, I think his name is Angus Cloud. Did I just make that up? I don't think so. Um, he is it. He's pretty much the same. He he speaks the same, which is wild, <laughs> but also not wild because I was like, that is such a specific way of speaking that I could, I could totally believe that he speaks that way in life. Um. Isn't this amazing that this is the medium shade of this bronzer? And do you see how like beautifully this is blending? Guys, I'm telling you what, the sauce is it. It's it. So I love Fez. And now I'm talking about everyone on the show is great. Okay, like as in terms of acting, phenomenal. But I'm talking about like, <clears throat> you know, characterization and stuff. I don't know if I can choose. Someone recently asked me like what team I was on, Maddie or Cassie. And at the time I, I was only on season one, so I could only speak to that. But now I've almost finished the whole thing. And I remember, I think it was Gabe Loves Makeup. And he was like, cause I had said that Cassie, you know, I prefer her over Maddie. I mean, not in like a huge way, but if I had to choose. <laughs> And he's like, oh, just wait until season two. Well, I'm on season two and I'm like, no, I still feel the same way. <laughs> like, I understand that she kind of blew it. Um, and I'm, that's not cool. But also, I don't know, I just have a, sp a soft spot for her. I just think she's, I like her. I just like her. I love that Meriton says euphoria is a little much, but I love succession. <laughs> Everybody I know who's watched succession is like, this is a lot. Like, I don't think I can watch this. And I'm like, it's the same with euphoria. They're actually very similar in that sense. I'm like, I know you feel that way. Watch it anyway, because it's that good. So those shows in that regard are very similar to me. <clears throat> I mean, they couldn't be more different, but they're similar in that, that respect, if that makes sense. <clears throat> Sorry. <clears throat> Lisa L, I love all shows and movies that are a lot. <laughs> Succession is another one that I feel like is a great show. Both of them share this in common, in my opinion. I think that they're both great rewatches because there's so much going on. There's so much minutia. There's so much dialogue. There's so much subtlety that going back and rewatching them is only going to serve you. And it's still compelling. I, I just, they're so good. They're so, so good. <sighs> okay. We bronze it up for now. We might go back, as I said.
Now, one brow product, okay? One. This is the Airbrow Gel. I didn't even bring a pencil. And thank God, because I didn't have time, that's for damn sure. Ann Moser, I'm looking for a cool pink cream blush. I love the color of the Ritual Defeat Rapture, but it doesn't last. Cool pink cream blush. I mean, honestly, just go to West, go, go through the link in my description box. <laughs> Click on the cream blush and I'm sure they have a cooler toned blush stick. I mean, I would assume because but what else can I recommend? I'm trying to think. Cool toned. I don't know. If I think of something else, I'll come back. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I'm reading all your comments. Okay, so Chase is saying Petal from Westman Atelier in regard to the, the cool cream blush or Baby from M Cosmetics. Okay, well, yeah. So this is, I don't know if this is cool toned. I think, well, yeah, sorry. I think this is, it'll probably show you if you go to the website. I think this is considered like a dusty rose. I think it's a little on the warmer side, but also remember that I have really, I have pretty cool toned skin. So if you do too, you know, just good to know. Okay, so again, I'm not gonna spoil Euphoria. And it's, it's not spoiling anything to say, like, most of the characters are pretty complicated. Some of them, I mean, are super fucked up. And Nate, if you, if you watch the show, you know who that is. This isn't spoiling anything. He's psychotic pretty much right off the bat. <clears throat> and in this last, the recent episode that I watched in season two, you see this interaction, this sort of, like, hanging out that's going on between him and his mom in the kitchen. It's this extended scene throughout the episode. And as much as, you know, Nate is a really hateful character, that's another great thing about the show. People are complicated and they show the backstories of all of these characters. Um, so you really understand, not that it makes their behavior okay, but you like get a better idea of why they are who they are. Anyway, there's a scene with Nate and his mom and I was, my blood was boiling, boiling because as much as Nate is a psycho, his mom just revealed, like she, it is the most manipulative, fucked up scene. I was, I had to pause it and I was like, this woman is taking no responsibility for the actions that she took in raising this child. And now she's literally just putting it all on him and being like, why did you turn out this way? I don't understand. I had no part of this. Did someone drop you on your head when you were little? And it's like, wow, mom. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. She's my least favorite character on the show. She can go fuck herself. I really dislike her. I, I hate her more than Nate. And he is a full on psychopath. <laughs> but you know what I really don't like? People who can't take responsibility for anything and are like, but I didn't do anything. What do you mean? I don't think so. I don't think so, honey. Yeah, she's like, you were so lovely when you were a child and then when you turned eight and nine, you just turn dark what happened like someone can answer that question I just I I was enraged and I like paused it got a Marco Polo bitched to my friends about it 
and then rewashed it just to make sure I felt the same way. And I did. And I did. Wow, that really, that really got my blood boiling again. Hater, hater. I mean, that actress is killing it because I hate her. Okay, now <laughs> moving on. That's really my first thing I wanted to say. Um, hold on, let me scroll up. We gotta see what the people have to say. We gotta see. Okay, I thought I missed something, but I think I'm good. Okay, so now I'm going to do my eye makeup. And you better believe that it's a one and done. <laughs> Again, thank God. Um, this is one of my favorite one and done eyeshadows, period. This is the Bobbi Brown Luxe Eyeshadow Rich Metal in the shade Melting Point. And I'm going to swatch it for you. I've featured this before. I've used it several times. I put it in a favorites video, I think several months ago. But look at that. It is a rose gold. It blends out beautifully. All I need is this and just a brush and then a little highlighter to blend everything. And it's phenomenal. So let me just kind of zoom in here. Just remembering when I was so frantic the night before last, putting, <laughs> putting the shit on. Oh my God. Okay, guys, so let me tell you this story. So we're doing the show. And it was in this, um, it was very like conference room like. It was, it was lovely when it was all done up for the show. Um, it, and people had had dinner beforehand. And so the nature of the show is basically that I back up my friend Michael on a lot of his songs. And then he was kind enough to let me do my own numbers. So I am so sorry that this is really making me irpy. Um, so I, I did a Patsy Cline medley. And, you know, the audience was a lot, it was quite, quite old, um, which is great, which is fine. And they really loved a lot of the music because of that. Honestly, a lot of people recognized more tunes than maybe other audiences. So it's like the middle of the show and I trade places with my goal and I get in front of the mic and I'm like parched. And I didn't bring any water with me, which is dumb. So I just like bent down and I was like, I turned to Michael and I was, oh my God, Miss Piggy, are you okay? She's fine. I turned to Michael and I was like, is it cool if I drink your water? And he's like, yeah. So I drink the water and then I'm like, don't worry, we're close. And then I was like, you know what though? I actually want a whiskey. Like that's what I really want. And then... And then I saw the bartender in the back of the room and she like raised her hand and like, you know, the audience kind of chuckled or whatever. And I was like, oh no, I'm, I'm not kidding. I'm dead serious. Like I really want a whiskey. So like, just, can we make that happen? Thank you so much. The bartender after my song is at the edge of the stage with a glass of whiskey and people were like, just like resounding applause. <laughs> it was the most amazing moment, I was blown away by her. Her name was Bebe. So if you see Bebe at the Ocean Reef Club in Key Largo, Florida, she's a star. She's a fucking star. So I then had this huge glass of whiskey that I was drinking. And then we just started passing it around, like, to the band. I was like, to the drummer, do you want some? She's like, yeah. Anyway, just note to self, note to self and also note to you, Whiskey really loosens anything up. <laughs> I 
because things just felt so much more fun after that. Drinking, drinking, am I right? No, it was fun. It was like a really fun moment and she was such a great part of it and I loved it. I loved that she leaned into it. All right, let me grab a, a brach. Um, sorry, someone asked a question. Oh, Queen 65. I was watching Michelle's video packing makeup for her trip to your neck of the woods and saw you were live. Thank you for coming over. I need to, I need to see that video that Michelle did because again, like I said, I feel like this, this could have also just been called what I packed on my trip. <laughs> Linnea, and now everyone has COVID. Nah, we're all vaccinated and we all, the whole band pretty much had COVID previously, <laughs> including myself. Michael got COVID literally, it was actually kind of scary because we, we almost weren't able, well, it was fine. We were totally able to do the show. He just got it in the nick of time. He got better. Um, and then we were able to do the gig. Yes, that wouldn't that wouldn't be just something I would do with a bunch of random people I don't know, but that's that's not the case with this band. And everyone is very responsible in the band. Very responsible. I assure you. We're not sharing the whiskey with the audience. I'm sorry, was that unclear? <laughs> That'd be a problem. That'd be a problem. Okay, so I'm literally taking this, as always, all the way up to my brow bone, which really helps disperse the product, makes it really nice and light, which I like. I want a natural look. I don't want something super dramatic. I want a little bit of glam, a little bit of drama, but I also want it to look semi-natural. Um... <clears throat> Okay, so now I'm going to take, I actually don't even know if I need to take any highlighter because that, I mean, seriously, that eyeshadow blends so gorgeously. I don't think I need it. And I didn't, I didn't do it for the show. So we'll just keep it like that. Um, now I'm going to take, this is down to the NURB, okay? This is a nub. This is the uh, uh, Victoria Beckham Satin Kajal Eyeliner in the shade Cocoa, which is like my favorite. Just do a baby wing. And I did do that. Gotten pretty quick about it. Let me just Yes, Chelsea Ann, love that eyeliner. Absolute holy grail. Yes. Okay, sorry, focusing on the baby wing. Meriton said, what brushes are you, I'm sorry, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right. What brushes are you using? I have my Shu Umera Kolinsky brushes that are about 25 years old. Oh, well, damn, use those. I'm using, for the most part, BK Beauty. Oh my God. Okay, I can't be trusted with that mirror is what, what that, that's looking like. Um. My BK, Beauty, my BK Beauty brushes uh, are my favorite. If you have not tried them, they are synthetic. They're phenomenal. 
Uh, they're so soft. And I always have a code with BK Beauty. I have a 10% off code in my description box as well, but can't say enough. Can't say enough. All right, Miss Piggy, let's give this another try. <laughs> oh, she's, she's doing, oh, wow. Shouldn't have showed you that. She's doing really well. I need to clean her off. I need to clean her off. Miss Piggy, you're a mess, okay? Jeez. How many times do I have to tell you? Clean yourself. All right, that's good enough. So I think the baby wings are somewhat even. Yeah, they're good, they're good. And then I'm gonna curl my lurches, take a drink. <laughs> oh, that's right, I was gonna answer that question. Jess asked about if I do anything, wait, let me go back up. Do you do any special prep to your voice before you perform? That's a really good question. Um, <laughs> you know, no. <laughs> I've gone through many, many stages in my life. You know, I started out with in classical music and I mean, you couldn't not warm up, you know? And like all the shows I've done, we would do group warm ups, and like, I'm not saying warming up, it's just a personal thing. You know, like everyone's voice is different. Some people can sound phenomenal and like they don't warm up. I will say some of the best warming up you can do is just talking in a normal way throughout the day. And then if you perform at night, your voice is warm. You know, you might do a couple like scales or like making sure that you go through your range. But other than that, it's, I, I personally feel okay. Um, yeah, so. Living life, give us a sample performance. Well, you know, you can Google, you can Google my performances. If you Google, I'll put it in the chat here. Michael McCory Rose. I mean, I have my own videos, but um, it's, his show is called Feels Like, no, shit. <laughs> Wow, so glad I know the name of the show I was in. Sorry, my my other friend Tina also has a country show. What is his called? I'm gonna look it up right now because I feel like an idiot. YouTube. Here we go. All right, I'll just put the this in the chat here um and then you know there are other videos they'll they'll come up as you watch um and you just can copy the link for later but um yeah there's one of his videos um that and that I'm in as well he has his own that I'm not in um, okay, so now I'm going to put mascara on. Bye, Chelsea Ann. Okay, so I'm going to use one of my favorite mascaras of all time, which is the Keir Weiss uh, Impossible Mascara. You know what I'll do after after the live, um, after this renders, I'll go into my description box and I'll link a couple of videos. So anyone who is interested in seeing pieces of that show, the the uh, the video that I linked is actually the show that we, it's the same show. We just did it two years prior. So you can always check those out and I will put those in the description box if you want to, to see and hear them. Um. <clears throat> 
Yeah, the show, the, the musicians were phenomenal. I mean, the band was just, like I said, it was a unicorn gig. It really was. Oh, Jennifer, Jennifer Dobbins sent a super chat. Thank you. That's so sweet. Cheer. Cheers to Jennifer Dobbins. Okay. Oh, this is just such a good mascara. I'm always gonna have a tube of this, I swear. Um, sorry, I'm like going silent here. So tomorrow we're seeing the Batman. And uh, I'm excited. I'm very excited. I don't usually get excited about superhero movies. But uh, Lisa L, I just popped over to take a quick listen. You guys sound really beautiful together. He does have a beautiful voice. So do you. Oh, thank you. Yes, he's... He's phenomenal. We've been singing together for a very long time. We've known each other for 15 years, so we really, really enjoy singing together. He's a very talented man. Um, mm, 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 mm. Janet, Kate, what songs would you choose as some of your top favorites to sing? Just curious. You know, that's kind of a tough question. I, I've always struggled with that question. <laughs> I'm not good at favorites questions. That's kind of terrible, isn't it? Um, but I... Most of my life I've sung musical theater. And most of those songs um, are not songs that people would know so I'm not going to name them. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I can think of any right now. My brain is a wasteland. <laughs> and I, do, I honestly don't know that many people, they're kind of obscure and it's either like super musical theatery or like super folky or anyway. Living Life sent a super chat. Thank you. You're so personable. You're so personable. Living Life. Hello, Clara Blush. Oh, thank you, Melanie. Um, I'm gonna also, well, I'll, you know what? No, I'm not. I'm gonna, li I'll link it later. Um, no, I'll link it now. I'll just link the, the Patsy medley. For you guys, hold on a second. Okay. And I'll also put it in the description box. Okay. Um, Oh my goodness, Jess sent a $20 super chat. Holy shit, thank you. You're such a breath of fresh air during all this. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That's very nice. Okay, now the next eye. Oh my God, such high maintenance situations for the, for the mascara here. I definitely, when I was doing <laughs> this part before the show, I was like, I mean, it was definitely the lengthiest part of my routine, but my God, I was stressed out. Oh my God, living life. I created that name because I think we still live life even after having children. Oh, well, fuck. I hope so. <laughs> I hope so. I just assumed living life. I hope everyone's living their life after children, but I can also see how it would be difficult to do so. Hence why I don't have children. One of many reasons. Anyway, uh, yeah. I hope you are living your best life, even 
with children. <laughs> uh. Some of the band, a couple of the band members, the guys in the band, um, had kids. Actually, the, one of the guitar players, well, they're both guitar players, but he has another kid on the way. Living in New York City, married, having a second child as a musician. I'm just like, what? what? That sounds crazy. <laughs> oh my God. I mean, wow. I mean, wow, 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 wow. Living life, oh my God, living life is just making it rain. Let's be honest. Oh, living life has teenagers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, Heather. Thank you. I just can't imagine, I really can't imagine. I mean, it's hard enough to live, just be a person in New York City and to be a performer in New York City. It's hard enough to live in New York City. One, just period, point blank. Two, to be a performer in New York City, point blank. Talk about two of the most misunderstood things on the face of the planet. Being a performer living in New York City. <laughs> then having kids? Get out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Um, Spitfire, do you want children? Three question marks. No, absolutely not. Um, no, sorry. To answer the, I mean, I am serious, but to be a little bit more specific, uh, you know, I've never wanted children. I'm not a kid person. Um, I honestly, I've never envisioned it. It just sounds like something I, that's a no f for me, dog. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's that on that. Linnea, amen, I have never wanted kids and most people don't understand. Yeah, you know, I feel like, I've lucked out a little bit on that. Um, I can only imagine most people don't understand. But because I've lived in New York City almost all of my adult life, and almost all of my friends are performers, there's just such a different mentality here in the city. You just don't get the questions you get in the rest of the country. And I am so grateful. <laughs> so grateful. Stephanie, I'm about to turn 45 and don't want kids either. Jess R., I think that's why I love watching you. Oh, that's nice. Because as someone who doesn't want kids, I'm losing a bunch of friends to the mom world. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I hear you. I hear you. It's a very different life, you know? Okay, I'm gonna do the bottom lashes. Alert the media, stop the presses, hold the phone. Um, because it did, I wanna make sure my under eye is set though. So hold on a second, let me just go back in here. Oh, thank you, Queen65. Okay, so now I'm gonna set my bottom lashes, which I have to say, I it's like I, I can't decide because I love, I love the doe-eyed look of like no bottom lashes. I think it, it there's almost something youthful about it um, and kind of 60s or whatever, but, but I did the lower lashes for the show and I was like, love that too, love that too. Chase Meacham, I never, never want kids and was in a happy relationship for seven years with my fiance without them, but I live in Alabama as a gay man, so LOL, wow. Yeah, that's, that's specific, Alabama, specific. <laughs> wow. 
Janice, great to be alive in a time where we can make the choice to have children or not. Amen. You know when people ask you the question, what time period? If you could choose another time period to live in, what would it be? I'm like, I'm sorry. If, if you're a woman, like, you better just be saying now. I don't know what you're talking about going back in time. That's a, I mean, nothing was good. Everything was fucking terrible. Now. I'm glad I'm here now. <laughs> not not just women, of course, but I'm just speaking to the fact that I'm a woman. Like, um, I probably have to kill myself if it went back in time. Thank you so much. Let's not do that. It's nice though, right? The lower lashes, they, well, they add a little drama. They add a little something, something. Now we're really taking time here with the lashes, aren't we? It's because we're talking about kids. A worthy brand, taking care of three small dogs is enough for me. Mm hmm mm hmm I think that's, you know, I, I'm close with Michelle Wong and Better Off Red and Sarah Better Off Red. And I have to say, I mean, I'm not saying that's the tie that binds us, but I think it's one of them. You know, the fact that the three of us have no interest in it, have no interest in having children. Um, Kate, Jess R. Kate, would you and Randy want fur baby fur babies? Well, first of all, Randy would be upset that you call them fur babies. <laughs> Um, it's fine by me, but he would be upset. He hates that. But, um, he loves animals and I love animals too. And we love to have an animal. We just have to move to a bigger place, which we will. We will. And we would love that, you know. It's hard in New York City though. <laughs> Oh, wow. Oh, Jess. Jess is, is uh, really, wow, she's getting in there. I have an eight-year-old and adore him. Good. However, he adores his chauvinistic father, and I can't help but question my investment in his education, trust fund, etc. Wow. Wow. I don't even know what to say to that. I'm just going to put this lip mask on because I cannot advise. Whoa, that's a lot. Um, Helene, I never wanted kids, but I did want grandkids. That's a toughie. That's a toughie. Um, Spitfire, are you a spiritual person? I don't, I don't, I don't know what that means anymore. What does that mean? I feel like that could just mean so many things. Like if you say you're not, does that, are you just admitting you don't have a soul? Is that what you're doing? I feel like everyone has to be like, I'm spiritual, but like, in this like really different way. <laughs> If you're not religious, which I'm not religious. So, uh, I don't know. No, no. I mean, I believe in treating people well and I care deeply about things and I don't know. That's all I got. I'm sorry. That's all I have. That's all I have. <laughs> Uh, Patricia Goodwin. Oh my goodness. Patricia, guys, the super chats. You're making it rain. Bravo. Cheers to you. Oh, that's sweet. Thank you so much, Patricia. Well, just so you know, this whole routine, I'm slowing this down by like five times the amount of time it took. Okay. So 
let's go in. I'm going to go in with just a little, I didn't do this because I didn't have time, but I'm going to go in with just a little bit more. Honestly, I don't even know why I have eyebrow pencils because sometimes I do the pencil and the brow and I'm like, I don't, no one needed that. We just need this is what we need. <sighs> Merton, having and raising children was the best thing I ever did. Yes, it was challenging at times, but still wonderful. No regrets. That's wonderful. I just want to say here, I am not shading people who have children, but I was asked about how I feel about it and, and my life choices, and that's my response. But I want to be clear, I have nothing against people who have children. However, most women have children, and the minority women don't. So I... I don't know. I'm just being honest. And I guess I, I don't want to be like, I'm providing a voice because that's douchey as fuck. But you know, I do feel like that's important because I think a lot of women feel like they can't say that and they have to stay quiet. And I don't like that. So you know what? If you don't want to have kids, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. And and don't be ashamed and don't be sorry. I'm, I'm into it. So did I cover everything? <clears throat> Thank you, Beverly. I will tell you, my parents never, ever, ever pressured me, not even once, to have kids. I'm not exaggerating. They never did. They never, my mom never asked me. We never had those stupid moments because those are stupid moments because you should never pressure your children to have children. Um, and I really, really give my parents a lot of credit for that. I will never forget it. It meant a lot. So don't pressure your kids to have kids because almost everyone does from what I hear. So please stop. Please stop that. Unfollow, unsubscribe. Janice, your parents sound amazing. Yes, they are. I will never do that to my son either. That's a great thing to do. Yes. I just don't understand people guilting their children into having children so they can have grandchildren. I, I can't, I honest to God can't think of anything more selfish. I really can't. <laughs> like, wow. Wow. Okay, wow. So I think we're done with the eyes. It took about an hour, an hour. Um, now I'm going to, we're almost done. It's very simple. Um, sorry, I'm trying to think of what stuff I wanna do next. I'm very, I'm very passionate about the conversation we're having though. So I'm a little distracted to be honest. Um, Simply swatched. As a woman who wants kids but still has hesitations about when because of how it will impact my life, I really appreciate hearing another perspective. Oh, that's lovely. Um. <laughs> Chase said his parents have never pressured him either. That's awesome. Thanks, Tara. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm loving all these comments. Linnea, my mom is the same. She's never pressured me and is 100% okay not being a grandma. Um, I think I think people are calling children crotch goblins, I think, in the chat, and that's really tickling me. Um, oh, I already did eyeliner. Can you not see it? It's right there. I did the eyeliner. Um, okay, so. Yes, Chase, have kids because you want to, not because you have to. Yes, please, please, for the sake of all of us in the world. 
Okay, so uh, let's do, sorry, I'm like, what next? I guess I'm going to do a little bit more. No, no, no. Lips. I'm going to do lips and then I'm going to go back to cheeks. Okay, so this color is discontinued. So sorry. <laughs> uh, but this is one of the Fit Glow color lip serums, which are fabulous. Um, they have a ton of other colors. This is just, or maybe it's not discontinued, it's sold out. Um, so this is a warm berry. So whatever, use another warm berry. There are tons out there. I just slather this on my lips. Oh, it's like a lip mask. It's so good. And then I topped it, of course, for some glam with the uh, Pat McGrath Lust Gloss in the shade Earth Angel. Oh, perfection. Okay, so now I'm going to take more of the bronzer to just catch up with the Fenty body sauce here. Where is the bronzer? What did I do with it? There it is. Okay, so pulling out the Charlotte Tilbury. Um, so this is interesting. Simply Swatch said people are allowed to have goals and ambitions and just a different idea of what their lives will look like without that involving children. Is that selfish? Sure. Is it bad to be selfish? No. See, you know, that's interesting. I, 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 like, I like that, but I don't think not having children is selfish at all. In fact, in a lot of ways, I feel like it's a little helpful to a lot of people in the world. So I feel like that's kind of something we got to flip because I don't love that. I don't love that idea that Oh, it's selfish to not have children. I don't like that. Mm-mm. No, no. Um, Janet Gorman. Oh my goodness. A Canadian $50 super chat. Holy shit. Here's to a healthy open dialogue. I really appreciate these chats. Oh, that's nice. Thank you, Janet. I appreciate you. I appreciate all of you guys. Um, okay, so now I'm gonna go back in with the bronzer. I just don't understand why we like I don't like what is what is selfish about not having children? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> what do you mean? That's just, a, that's, that's an idea that a lot of people have though. Really? I mean, I think it's, it's pretty common. All right, let's, let's run some more, shall we? Wow, I wish, I'll tell you what, I wish Better Off Red was here because she would, she'd be getting in here. I'll tell you what, on this conversation. And yes, this is such a good point. Jess, I don't think it's selfish either. Don't we have children for our own benefit? Okay, no, that's a, that's, that's a hot take and I, a lot of people are gonna get real upset about that. But yes, I, do, I believe that's partially true. I do believe that like actually having children tends to be about the parents in a lot of ways. Not all the ways, it's not all bad. I'm so glad I'm here, thank you so much. But we also need to address the fact that that is a very selfish act in a lot of ways. So it goes both ways. Actually, it doesn't go both ways because <laughs> I still think that not having children is not a selfish act. I don't even understand that. Like, I don't even understand that at all. Like, not even 1%. <laughs> Queen's, Queen 65, better off Red would scorch the earth with her retort. She would. She'd have a good retort. Another time. Okay. 
Jess, I don't even think one needs to explain their choice to not have children or not. Oh, no, no one should have to explain that. And I, I have to be honest with you, and it's okay that someone asked, and I was okay with answering it. If I wasn't okay, I wouldn't have answered it. But that's not really an okay thing to ask anymore. <laughs> They're just, for like 19 reasons, it's just like not cool, you know? Okay, let me see. Simply Swatched responded, no, no. I mean that you are taking the path you want can seem selfish, not that it necessarily is. Okay. She goes on to, they go on to say, see my comment above. I don't think it's selfish to choose your path, just that it can be seen as such if it doesn't involve kids living in the South, that is a general, general sentiment. I know that's a general sentiment in the South and that's bullshit. That's another reason why I don't live in the South. Oh my God, unsubscribe. Okay, the great beauty hates the South. Oh my God, she hates kids in the South. <laughs> um, I'm not saying that about Simply Swatched. I love Simply Swatched. I'm just, you know, you know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, no one should have to explain. No one should have to answer. No one should feel bad. No one should feel like it's selfish because none of those things are okay. Period. Period. And if you live in the South, I hope you still feel that way. I know you're like going against the grain, but no, 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 Nat. That ain't it, kid. Back it up, back it up, back it up, back it up. And yes, we are bronzing the hell out of the face. Chase, I live in Alabama and it is total fucking hilarious, hypocritical bullshit. Devil is in the details. Being a gay male here, once in a blue moon, I'll run into well-meaning parents who has a stellar child. Child is an image of them and it's touching, but it's 1% in my, it's the 1% in my opinion, but it's a no for me, dog. <laughs> Got it. Okay, I think we're good with the bronzer. Catherine Cowan, we might not like to admit it, but our, I'm loving this conversation, by the way. I'm loving so many things that people have to say. Um, Catherine said, we might not like to admit it, but our, our time, energy, and resources are limited. Having kids is extremely resource intensive and will take away from spending time and energy elsewhere. I mean, I mean listen, what, what are you going to do? <laughs> when you're right, you're right. You can be mad about it if you want, but it's just right. It's just true. Our, our resources uh, are limited. All right. Bronze the hell out of the face. So now I'm going to back it up a little bit so you can kind of see the full thing. Um, <laughs> Jess, I only have a nephew and I'm already tired. Amen. Amen. Um, so now I'm going to take, I'm going to powder blush it. So we've double blush. We did the Westman Atelier cream blush stick. Now we're going to do the Pat McGrath blush. This is the shade Cherish. Wow, that drink is like really bubbly. Um, Jess, I still get shamed for sleeping in, going out, buying stuff for myself from other mom parents. Do people experience this? It's annoying. Okay, no, I mean, I, See, I hear, I hear this shit from like people who live not in New York, like friends of mine, and it, it makes my, I'm gonna say it again, it makes my blood boil. No one should shame you for that. Okay. 
Okay. Yeah, seriously. I don't know who those people are, but those are people who are not your friends. And they're not your family. So you need to, and if they are, and you want to keep them around, you need to have a talk with them because no, no. Sorry, I'm real clear on where I stand on these things. Uh, so <laughs> I know I'm being like really definitive here, but. Chase, do the Pat McGrath blushes blend easily over most things? Yes, they're phenomenal. Phenomenal. Like, look at how gorgeous that double blush situation is. And I know, you know, I really go in on the blush, especially on these live streams. But I'll tell you what, like, especially for stage, I really wanted the bronze and then like the cheeks to pop. And when you're on stage, everything fades. Not that I'm doing a stage makeup look, but you know what I'm saying. Um, Carrie Thompson. <laughs> Oh my God, this use of the word crotch goblins is killing me. Okay, so now we're, we're almost to the end here. Um, I am going to take the Auric Glow Lust and I'm going to, this was my highlighter and I use this on my body as well. This is a great body highlighter, just so you know. It's nice and thick and I feel like that works really well on the body. Um, and I have the lightest shade. I have Morganite. Oh my God, better off. Sarah, better off red. You literally just missed an entire conversation about not having kids. And I just mentioned you and I'm angry at you for missing it. I'm kidding. I'm not, but I kind of am though. Like, where were you? I was like, Sarah would literally die. <laughs> So many things were said. Shit. Wish you would have been here. Anyway, you're here now. And that's what's important. Okay. Look at how that blends, though. Look at it, though. Okay. So now, and Sarah, I am wearing your shirt. Yes, my Better Off Red shirt. I'm just going to imagine that I'm wearing a halter dress instead of this. Okay. Okay. We're pulling it down. We're doing the shoulders. We're doing the clav. We're doing it all. Okay. And let me tell you this, not just, I mean, on stage, this hits because of the lighting. A shinty shoulder, get out of town. Okay. You have a shinty clav. Who doesn't love that? Do the other shoulder. You will be glowing. The Fenty body sauce, and are you seeing it? I'm trying to like, I'm trying to go like this so you can see it. Look at that shiny blurred situation. Okay. And I also, the dress I wore was <laughs> very, I don't have cleavage because my boobs are real far apart. So that's good in some ways and not good in some ways. But in this case, it was good. So I literally just like put this all the way down the front down here and it was gorgeous okay so that's pretty much the finished look and I know that's not like you're probably thinking wow that's super subtle for stage but I don't know I just felt like this was all my favorites I felt like myself um I'm gonna make sure that, did I miss something? I don't think I did. I'll put a little more gloss on. Yeah, that's it. That's the whole kit and caboodle. So Sarah, better off red, thank you for being here. <laughs> thank you for coming in at the end. Um, what did I miss? Let me see what people are saying. Better off red, have you revealed that we're going to be neighbors? 
I haven't because I didn't know that I could, but I'm going to. Yes, uh, Sarah is, is she's going to be moving like here. Like not literally in here with me, that wouldn't work. But <laughs> she's moving like outside of New York. Well, anyway, I don't want to give away too much, but we're going to be much closer in proximity and it's going to be super fun. <laughs> Hopefully there'll be more videos, more live streams, all that good stuff. Um, I'm very, very excited. So anyway, guys, this is this is the finished look. And I really loved doing this look for you. And I also loved the combo that we had. Thank you for being here on a Saturday night. I know it's probably the worst time to have a live stream. Most people are out living their lives. But I appreciate you for being here. You guys are honest to God, like one of the best communities on the YouTubes. Um, thank you for everyone who, <laughs> better off read, we're moving to the concrete dreams where Pete Davidson is made of. <laughs> exactly. Have you guys seen the King of Staten Island? Go see it. Um, that's what it's called, right? Anyway, this was so great. Uh, please give this a thumbs up before you leave or if you're watching it on replay please subscribe and thank you to everyone who sent super chats. You guys fucking made it rain tonight and was awesome. And I will please follow me on Instagram because I post updates on there if I'm doing a live, what have you. And I will see you guys next time. Have a great Saturday night. Don't let anyone tell you what to do. Live your life. Mm.